Hi there and welcome to the second part of the video. In this second part we are going to learn how to convert an existing OSX virtual machine in CBIOS to a fully working OSX virtual machine with OVMF using Clover. Anyway, here's the vid. Cracky. Okay, for this video I assume you've already got a CBIOS OSX virtual machine installed on your Unraid server. Um, if you don't, then please see part one of this video where I show you how to install that. Um, you're also going to need to download the file from the description, um, which is the same as in the first video, this one here. Um, make sure it's unzipped. Put it on the share you have on your Unraid server. I have one here called test um, and then copy the file into your share um, then you're going to need to start up your virtual machine um, I'm using Splashtop desktop to connect to mine which I also showed you how to do in the previous video um, so I'll switch across to that now um, and here we have the CBIOS virtual machine um, and we just need to connect to the same share as we copied the folder across to a moment ago. So open a new finder window and connect to the same share. And there you'll see the file which we'll copy onto the desktop. Okay, so when that's copied onto your virtual machine, open the folder and inside the folder you'll see this file here which is called EFI Mounter version 3. Um, double click on that, put in your password, click OK and then it gives you the option to mount the EFI partition. So click on mount and then you can see it opens the hidden EFI partition of your virtual hard disk. Delete the folder called EFI, give it to trash and just empty your trash to make sure it's gone forever and now we need to go back to the folder we just transferred across and you'll see in there there's a file called EFI.zip so open that folder, drag it across and now you'll have a new EFI folder within your EFI partition and if you look inside here we basically have the Clover bootloader which is already configured for um, a Q35 KVM machine so everything you need here is already configured. A couple of things to look at if you want the machine to auto boot and you don't have to press enter on the Clover bootloader when it starts. Just check the name of your primary hard drive. Mine's called OSX and it's in lower case. So just open that with a text editor and if you scroll down until you find the key boot here and look a little lower here um, you can see here it says string and default volume and you see mine has OSX but it's in capitals so if I want this to automatically boot I need to make that exactly as it is so as mine is in lowercase I need to type OSX there so close and save the file don't worry about the warning that comes up that's just because the EFI partition is formatted in fat click OK so that's all the steps necessary within the virtual machine. So now you can go ahead and close the virtual machine down. And with the VM shut down, we can go back to the desktop and then we need to go to the VM tab of our Unraid server. And if we scroll down, you'll see the OSXC BIOS there. But first we're gonna to have to create a new template. So scroll down to the bottom and click on the Ubuntu template and we'll name it something like um, test example. The only setting we really have to worry about changing is just to change the primary disk location to none as we don't want it to create a VDisk. 
and just check by going up to the top that you're on advanced and check that the BIOS is set for OVMF. Then scroll back down to the bottom, uncheck start VM after creation and then click on create. And now if we scroll down we can see test example here. Um, now we need to click on edit XML and scroll down till we see this part here in between the OS tags and this part here is what tells the VM to use OVMS. So what we want to do is click copy and open a text file, paste that into there and now click on cancel now we want to go back to our CBIOS OSX virtual machine, click on Edit XML, and now we want to select all of this and copy that. Click on Cancel, scroll back down to Test Example here, and click Edit XML, and we are going to want to delete all of this out, make sure there's nothing there and then we want to paste the XML from our CBIOS machine um, and there's just three changes we need to make we need to change the name obviously we can't have two virtual machines with the same name I'm going to call this OSX OVMF Clover and very important that we delete the UUID because we also can't have two virtual machines with the same UUID number. So if we delete this line, once we click update, then it will add that with a new number for us. And now the next bit here is the OS part here, which um, tells our virtual machine whether it's a CBIOS or OVMF and we've also got our little extra bit here which is for the bootloader so we can go back to our text file click on copy and paste over the top there so now we've got our OVMF part in the XML we've got a new name um, so we should click update and now you'll see the um, test example one's gone and it's been renamed to OSX OVM Clover and the great thing is is we've still got our CBIOS example of um, OSX as well so we can choose to boot now either way so let's test out the OVMF machine so click on it and click start and I'm going to go to VNC and just give it a moment and we should see it boot into the Clover bootloader and there we are um, in the Clover bootloader and the system will start to load and here we are back into the same virtual machine as before um, but running off Clover and OVMS and again I'll switch over to my Splashtop desktop to access this VM and as you can see it's all working absolutely fine internet's working fine and there we have it we've got two virtual machines based off the same disk image one is CBIOS and one is OVMF if you want to you can fiddle around with the Clover configuration um, in the file here we have the Clover configurator um, but what we want to do before running that is just open our PFI partition again then I can see it's on the screen double click on Clover and click on to file and I'll click on open and click on EFI, that's the drive, 
go to BSI, go to Clover, and then open the config plist. Click on New Way. And this is where you'll find and can change all the configuration settings for the Clover bootloader. Unfortunately, talking you through all how to do this is beyond the scope of this video, but if it is something you'd like to see a video on soon, then please say so in the comments below, or if you think you'd like to see a video on how to pass through things like graphics cards for your OSX machine, then please also paste that in the comments below. I will be doing an Unraid video every week and posting them up to the channel on a Friday. So if there's anything you think you'd like me to cover, then please leave it in the comments below. So now you can shut down the virtual machine, having learnt how to install OSX on your Unraid system in both CBIOS and OVMF. Anyway, while we're here, I'll just start up the CBIOS virtual machine again. Um, remember it's running off the same disk image as the OVMF one. And here we go, it's booting up, it's into the loading screen, and now we're into the desktop. Anyway, if you found this video useful, I'd really appreciate if you give my video a like. And if you want to subscribe and see more videos from me, then please do so. And anyway, whatever you're doing, please have a great day.